Hi everyone, Charlie here with Drug Addictions. I just want to start off my video like I do all my videos and say that no way do I think I'm a professional. Everything that I talk about is strictly from, you know, personal experience. Um, I just want to talk a little bit about, uh, you know, the drug addiction itself and, and decision making, overall decision making. Um, I noticed, you know, now that I've been clean for a while that all my decision making, whether it be, you know, normal stuff like, you know, what I'm eating today, all the way to how I'm going to get my drugs. It was all solely based around my drug use. Um, there was times where, you know, I would use every day, every day, every day. And then for me, it was such a big deal. Oh, I'm clean. I haven't used in two weeks. You're still not clean. Matter of fact, sometimes these drugs stay in your system upwards of a month. I know every time I would go for a sample um, on the methadone program, I would go in and, and sample. I would you know, it would show up. I would get discouraged because two weeks later, three weeks later, it'd still be in my system. Um, I'll talk more about the methadone program and suboxone program in another video. Um, I will actually just say a little bit about it right now is that it is a good, good plan, a good idea to go on it if you do the program properly, not if you get on it and stay on it for years and years like I ended up doing. It, it only becomes more of an addiction than, than opiates itself. Um, even though it is an opiate, I mean like, you know, uh, prescription drugs like uh, Oxycontin, Morphine, Dilata, and so on and so forth. Um, but anyway, back to the decision making. So, I, you know, every day I sit here and I think uh, about choices I made and and some of them I'm like, why? Why did I do that? Or why did I say that? Or like, really? Even though I, I am who I am, that doesn't make sense to me. And it's starting to come together. Every decision I made was solely based on my drug use. Whether it was consciously or subconsciously, it was based on my drug use. Um, let me give some examples here. One, one big example would be, you know, I haven't used in a couple of weeks, so I'm clean. I'm doing good. I, I, I mean, it was good not to actually use the drug in a couple of weeks, but it was still in my system. So my, my brain functioning was still functioning around my use actually one of my big things in my head and I think about it now then it didn't really it wasn't a thing or maybe I just didn't want to admit it but I noticed that I always had in the back of my head okay make sure you have money in case you mess up then you can go get high that's a horrible way to think horrible way because you're planning for failure and and that's one of the reasons why I used for so many years was because I wanted to always make sure I either a had money for drugs or b had a plan to get those drugs um, so my, my one example, one of my main examples would be going grocery shopping. I would go and I would say, oh, I'm saving money here and here and here. And I, I wouldn't get everything I need because the other stuff was too expensive and blah, blah, blah. It wasn't so much that it was expensive. It was the fact that I was trying to keep money for my addiction, that I was clean. So I, I didn't have addiction. So I didn't see anything wrong with it. But then you know, that night or a couple days like whatever, I'd end up falling down using again. And that money that I saved on, on groceries for more groceries, no logic there at all, because I would have just got it while I was there, would go back to using drugs. Um, so that, that's, you know, one, one huge example is, is, you know, subconsciously planning to use, right? Um, another one of my decision makings I noticed is, a lot, a lot had to do with planning to actually get the drugs. So when I was using drugs, I, I would make sure in my head, my plans to, to get there, how I'm, how I'm going to get there money wise, blah, blah, blah. Now I, I would lie to my mom, my sisters, my, you know, anybody, anybody. And it's horrible because I think about it now and it's hard for me to talk about it. Um, not as hard as you would think though, because, uh, you know, when I do talk to my mom and stuff about this. And I even, even then I kind of knew, but I masked it with drugs going, oh, they have no idea. The excuses, the crazy ass excuses I would come up with for the ride or to do this and that and thinking I'm getting away with it. Like, <laughs> they have no idea. But yet they knew. They knew because of the way I acted, because of, of the repeative, oh, I really need to go. No, 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 it needs to be right now. I can't be tomorrow. It has to be right now. I need to go and get this little teeny tiny memory card for $80 right now. I need to go to that spot that's in, you know, crackhead area or junkie town, or I need to go there right now, you know? And, and at the time I thought I was smarter than everyone else. Again, the decision-making, 
I was deciding to go and get it. And, and my decision wasn't to go, you know, I got, I come up with a good plan. It was number one was my drugs. Number two was the plan like for, for people to hear what I, what I wanted people to hear to get those drugs. Now, I bet you if I spent more time planning on my stories, it would have been more believable, you know, and, and that sounds horrible because I'm happy that, you know, my mom knew when I was using because it prepared her and my family for the worst. You know, that would be devastating if they all thought if I hit it so well that they thought I was clean. And the next thing you know, I, I they get the call that I'm I'm no longer with anybody. I'm, I'm passed away. Right. And I don't wish that upon anybody. I've I've lost friends actually to drugs um, and. I've lost friends because of drugs, you know, whether it be gang related or, you know, suicide, stuff like that. Anyway, the, the whole point of this video is just decision making. Uh, if you go to an addict, whether they're cl just got clean, whatever, it takes months for you to get out of that mindset. Then that's when they start realizing their, their, their decision making solely has to do with the drugs. And I know this video, people might be like, well, duh, of course they're on drugs people know this, but it's, it's actually picking their brains and, and understanding their decision-making, not just knowing, oh yeah, there it's clearly based on drug use. It's, 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 you start picking at it and it's actually, it's interesting to see the routes that people go. And I, I'm like picking my own brain and, and it's pretty interesting to, to, to look back and see, like if I would have put that energy and, and that mindset to something bigger, who knows where I'd be right now? Honestly, like the the all the work that I put into to trying to hide my drug use, getting my drugs, and 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 getting money to get drugs, I it, I who knows where I'd be? I, I'd probably be rich to be honest with you. The energy and the time, it's just it's ridiculous, and that's one big thing. And that's another thing I'm gonna get into in another video. Uh, if if I can, I want to be able to show people that are just getting clean that if they still have that energy that they had to put into drugs to getting them and blah 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 maybe we can we can push that energy to somewhere else to get them back to work or or because that's a drive that you have when you're, you're using drugs yeah it's the drive to get it and you might lose I, I lost that drive a little bit since i've been clean not saying that i wouldn't work or go and do this blah 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 i can still do that but i, I want to be able to help people getting clean to maybe get a job or, or, you know, push towards, you know, renovating their house if they have a house or, or spending time with their family members that they haven't seen in a long time or anything. That's uh that's a big deal for me and definitely family. Anyway, I'm, I'm kind of wandering off here in my, my video. Um, the whole point of the video is decision-making. I just hope that, you know, you guys sit here and watch through the video and kind of hear what I have to say. I have my new camera. I haven't used it yet. Um, I checked it out. It's going to be hard for me. I got to make sure I have everything set up on my computer, so on and so forth. So just bear with me. This whole shaky thing. I have a, a tripod coming in tomorrow. So my next video, even if it's with my phone or my camera, it'll be on a tripod. So you won't see this whole moving around and, and back and forth stuff. Uh, anyway, I appreciate everyone's support. Sorry that I haven't made a video in over a week. I think it has been probably around a week. Uh, I'm going to try to keep doing them every other day. Um, again, appreciate everyone, all my supporters. Uh, I love all you guys and, you know, let's make this a good channel and get more people on it so we can help more people. Thanks everyone.